What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to the562.org. It's Tyler and Mike, and this high school football video is brought to you by Naples Rib Company, now open for indoor dining. West side, right on time. It's senior night for Long Beach Poly hosting Milliken, and it's just so great to see these kids out here with their families, big smiles on their faces. I mean, it's just football brings family together, Mike. It's all about community. That's what this season has been about, but it's also about the action on the field. And we've got the two unbeaten more league teams. Neither one has lost a game. It's Milliken and Polly playing for that city championship tonight. Jack Rabbit's out in the Jumpman fits looking for an undefeated season and very annoyed about not being able to play a game last week on the first play. This is what we call a tone setter from David Bacalar. Then Brian Parham just flying through the A-gap for one of his four tackles for a loss and skipped to my Lewing back to his side of the line of scrimmage. Then, though, things got a little bit chippy on that opening drive. Screen goes out to Ryan Pelham. He's swarmed and tackled by a host of Jackrabbits. Then uh, a big crowd over there. You see there's already a flag down, and then a bit of a scrum would ensue over there on the Milliken sideline. Uh, several players kind of going over there. It gets worse. There would be two penalties on this play against Polly to extend the drive, including a player ejected, would be players ejected on both sides in this game. Then the Rams able to move the sticks off of that, and then Peter Kim finding Ryan Pelham for 15 yards. Yeah, the talented freshman, obviously the Rams were looking to get him the ball and have been this season. But the drive would stall, capped by this interception from senior Jalen Duncan playing center field and a nice return to try to get the Jackrabbits going. But Polly offensively couldn't do much on their first drive. Connor Lanto and Ethan Stephanie going to get the sack of Shea Kuykendall here. This is what Milliken was looking to do, just don't get snowed in early. But D-block relentless. Ajay Gravelli just running into a wall right there. And then on special teams, the bobbled snap. It's not a double thump. It's a double bumple bubble. And it's monster on the recovery as Jalen Johnson is going to pick it up for the touchdown. <laughs> when I fumble, it's trouble. And monster with the <laughs> touchdown. 7 nothing Jackrabbits. And everyone run for cover from Brian Parham. Sheesh. Drops the Parhammer in the backfield. Ouch. Have heard from some classic poly football coaches who said that kid could have played in any era, and we agree. Milliken definitely making some plays uh, to shut down that poly run game. Leo Moreno with a pair of tackles for a loss. A very nice game for the junior. But when the defense is focused on the running back, it's time for Shea Kuykendall to tuck it and run it as five got out on the outside and had a nice, a, a couple nice running plays in this game, actually. Then rolling out, it's the Shea-Tay connection. Keontae Lanier going to make the grab on the sideline, cut back, and fight his way into the end zone. Senior scoring on senior night. That's what you love to see. Ocho with the big play. He's made so many of them for the Jackrabbits over the years. Going to New Mexico, obviously. Polly still dominating the line of scrimmage. Phoenix Tusa there first, and then Witi Mo going to clean it up. And Polly coming the other way. If you need a big play, why not throw it to Big Play Tay? It's in the name. 33 yards for him, and he's geeked. Yeah, that catch radius is only getting bigger. Then Kaikendall is going to find Nas McGee for the nice chunk right here. Lucky number 13. And then Jaden Bridges with that quick run to lay it right on the doorstep for the Jackrabbits. And on the next play, he will A-Town stomp his way into the end zone. Hey, no, no holding call on that play, Mike. It's going to stand, and it's 21 nothing Polly. There were a lot of penalties in this game. We're not showing them to you because why do that? Late in the first half, Polly looking for more. A nice run from Devin Samples. We've been getting a heaping helping of free samples this season. And then Kuykendall is going to find Kyron Rachel in the corner of the end zone. Nice to see these senior receivers getting one last touchdown each. As you can kind of see, Kuykendall's intentionally spreading the ball around here on senior night. Yeah, that takes us to halftime, 28-0. It's also senior night for the members of the marching band, ASB, cheerleaders. Great for everyone to have their moment at this game back at high school football games. Love to see that. Milliken trying to get back into it. Torion White almost had the pick six right here. Thought he was going to have his moment in his last game. And you know what? He still might. That's foreshadowing if you're keeping score on your literary device checklist. The Jackrabbit's able to run it well over eight yards per carry in this one. Cruising in the ATL. But Shea, as we said, was an effective runner tonight. And check out young Shea Butter looking smooth on this 22-yard touchdown run. Keeps it himself as Jackrabbit's go up 35 to nothing. 
That is a fired up fiber right there. They were <laughs> <laughs> turn me up, turn me up. <laughs> then Polly able to get more seniors involved. Evan Arredondo with a few nice runs going up the middle. And and again, looking for Rachel. He's going to make a terrific diving catch. You see the flag come in that's going to uh, overrule this for the for PI, but I mean, had to put that in. That's a great grab. Yes, absolutely deserving of the highlight reel for sure. And then going the other way, it's Nas McGee again, showing great effort, fighting for the end zone. They would put him down at the one. But on the first play of the fourth quarter, it's Nas on the carry. Jump man across the belly. I prove you lost already. Teammates fired up as he hits his dance. I mean, this these are the moments you love to see, right? They know it's their last game. And, and to see a senior get in the end zone and get to celebrate that touchdown, they're fired up. We cannot end the year without one more not-so-friendly reminder to respect the specs. Lamar Black with the physicality. <laughs> 28 out there with mean intention. He chose violence, Mike. Uh, the Rams looking to get some offense going. Kim finds Takario Davis, who really had a great game at cornerback tonight. Makes the grab right there. But going the other way, I mean, you better RSVP for this white party. Torreon White makes the catch. And what do we say, Mike? If you pick it. You got a six it. He's wearing six for a reason. And that is the perfect end to the game for a poly senior looking to just have fun, make some memories, and get to celebrate with his friends. And by God, he's going to the top rope. He's going <laughs> to climb. He's going to go all the way up. Full Jalen Suggs, D Wade on the table. I mean, just drink it all in, man. Like, th this is why we love high school sports and football, especially, you know, work in the crowd. Cheerleaders not missing a beat. I mean, shout, we don't have a roster for the cheerleaders, but shout her out for sticking with it. <laughs> and just these cool moments between players, teammates, and coaches. Yeah, this is what everyone came back out here for. There's no playoffs. Everyone knew this is the last day of the season. And so players from both teams knew, hey, I get one more chance to go out there with my brothers and leave it all on the field. The Jackrabbits certainly did that in a 48-0 win. Did not allow a point in three more league games this year and certainly proved themselves the best in the city with a very bright future. You know, we wish we could have playoffs for these teams. You don't want to end the season quite like this, but hey, man. Really glad that we got the opportunity to have a season this year. We also want to thank our sponsors, including Ocean Law Center, for their support of local sports coverage. And hey, we're really excited for football season coming in just a few months in the fall. And if you want us to be around to continue providing this type of coverage with videos, photos, stories, tweets, everything else, be sure to hit the support tab at the562.org. Chip in, help us out, and make sure we can continue bringing this coverage to the LBC.